They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden and Olsen from video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the market. I haven't went over the Madden market in what feels like forever, guys. This whole COVID-19 quarantine has really, really messed with my routine and my setting, guys. Now, thankfully, starting as of Monday, guys, we're back in the house. We're back in the room. We're back in the setup. We're going to finally be able to get back to a camera. We're gonna, you're going to see my face again. I'm going to look great. It's going, be, it's going to be great. I'm so excited. Starting Monday, I will be out of the quarantine room, back into my normal setting, back into my normal life. Sadly, it's right. It's, it's perfect timing. It's right for Christmas, but it also is right around Christmas, so it's not like I can go in and just go, you know, ham and go everything, because again, it's also Christmas time, you know, family, gifts, everything, so it's going to probably still be a little bit slower, but on the bright side, we'll be back to our normal routine. I'm super excited to finally be back and going over everything. I know, guys, the pood miss, everything's been just delayed. It's so hard in here, I'm telling you. It's so different being out of my element, um, trying to keep up. I'm going around looking for tests today so I can go ahead and get cleared to go out again. So hopefully that can all be done today. So this is my final video for the day. Hopefully you guys do understand. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Come join the family, guys. And, of course, as I go through the market and I see some players that are good buys, if you guys do need coins to pick them up, heading over to Mount Reserve, take advantage, guys. The 30% off is a crazy good deal. Don't, don't fumble with the bag. Go pick up. 30% off coins. Now, let's get into the market, guys. Now, I've been picking up quite a few players, as you guys can see. A few, a few. Now, I'm not saying a lot, but, you know, they're expensive, so the coins went down quite a bit. Um, I have Derrick Henry currently, not because he was a great buy, but because I did a set. Now, I'll explain everything in just a second, but let's start from the tippity top with the newest legends. Are these worth buying? Uh, personally, no. Are they worth having? Yes. Are they worth buying yet? Not at 800k. That is crazy expensive, guys. If you guys know anything about this year's Madden, you don't buy cards for 800k. This year's Madden is so cheap. It's just so cheap. Inflated coins. I, I don't really know. You know, I don't know what the deal is, but it's so cheap this year. Cards should not. You're not. You're not paying 800k. These will come down with good time. Give them some time. You can always go pick up the other ones. These are great cards. They're you know great cards, like good for another month type cards. Trey Vincent could be good for another month and a half, two months because he's a cornerback. But don't waste your coins. They will come down. Just give it some time. There's only like, what is this? Only four Troy Vincent on the entire block. That's, that's abnormal. It's been almost three hours since they dropped. There will be other opportunities. Just wait for those. Now, let's go down here. Let's see what the Troy Vincent's looking like um, without, of course, the LTD. Let's see the difference there. Let's see. Okay, so first off, Nitrin Lane 175, guys. If you guys have been in the market for a Nitrin Lane, that is a buy. Personally, I think he's too slow. I think we're at a point now where all cornerbacks are getting like 94 speeds, like Charles Woodson, Troy Vincent. I think personally, Nitro Lane's already outdated, but if you're in the market, there you go. Charles Woodson, I think he's a buy. He's going he's to come down a little bit. The only reason he's still a little escalated in price is because he's far and away incredible, like 99 man, like 99 man, 94 speed. He's just incredible, and that's why he's been maintaining value. But Charles Woodson is still going on. He's still on the downturn. You may want to wait till he drops to the 200K range, but I bought him for 315. I thought it was a great buy, whether or not he's a little bit more down now. I just wanted him on the squad. Now, see, this Troy Vincent is 590. It's still a decent difference between the other one. I still don't think you touch these cards until they get into the 300k range. The 95 Troy Vincent, that is. I don't think you touch Troy Vincent until this one right here is in the 300 to 400k range. And the LTD, you don't touch until at least 5, 600. I think you got to wait. It would just be a waste of money because you know they're coming down. You just know. There's no market right now for that. For Troy Vincent, there's only four in the block. You know that that's just a, that's just a product of no cards being on the block. Once people are pulling them, and probably once people keep getting their refunds, right? When everyone gets their refunds for the 50 cards, you know, once they get their refunds, people don't save that money. They're going to take that and pop it right into a legend bundle. You know how people work. So don't fall for it. Now the 50. The 50 has been a great buy. Personally, I want to pick up some 50 cards. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about picking up A-Rod as my quarterback. He may not be the best, but he's right there for the best, and that's a great price. You know, way cheaper than Rich Cannon, way cheaper than everyone else. But I'm also waiting. Just in case, they end up dropping a, um, a Mahomes. That's better, right? Now, I definitely want to pick up A-Rod if they don't drop. If I don't like the Mahomes. I'm waiting to see. But if Mahomes is this, you know, because it's, uh, it's all about thresholds, right? So if, if Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers hit, like, the same thresholds and, you know, similar speed and everything, I can just get Mahomes. For, I can get Aaron Rodgers sniped out at, like, about 150. You know, it's, it's a snag and a half. 160-ish. So I definitely want to pick up uh, Aaron Rodgers. So honestly, guys, I think all the 50s are buys, right? End of the day, it doesn't matter who the 50 player is, they're a buy. 
Uh, Sean Taylor will keep dropping. I think Sean Taylor in the low, uh, the low 300Ks is a buy. I think that, let's see, Rob Gronkowski isn't a buy just because his stats aren't good enough. Now there, 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 there is, there is a, a, there's a preface to that though. If you're rich, right? If you're mad and rich and you just need to spend coins, Gronk's a buy. Why? Because you can put him as your second tight end. He'll be a dominant second tight end that people won't expect, and he'll be able to run block for you and give you like a six to seven o line look with tight ends. Now, if you're more of a, uh, you know, no money spent, more of a budgety guy, you have limited coins to spend. You don't just buy an extra tight end because you can. So if you're one of those guys, not a buy. If you're a guy that has so many coins you want to start, you know, burning your own money, Gronk's a buy. And most 50 players are a buy. You don't got to ask for advice. 50 is just so cheap this year. It's just ridiculously cheap. Take advantage of the 50. Go ahead and enjoy some cards. Now, to wrap up through these cards, the Legends, all right? Legends have been buys. Historically, Legends have been cheap, and they've been buys. Um, Derrick Henry is not a buy. Now, the thing is that I like Derrick Henry personally, but this year's Madden is based around change of direction and agile backs. Derrick Henry's not that. Is he fun? To, he's so fun to play with. But he kind of has that Bo Jackson effect. Now, I'm playing with him right now because I got him from the set. I plan to sell him once I get my coins up. And I, well, once a new back comes out, that can replace him, really. So I'm just rocking with him now as a filler back. And then once the agile back I want comes out, like, Shady McCoy could have been that back. Kenyon Drake could have been that back. If they had power. If they had power, they'd be useful. But Derek Henry's a high overall. I'm rocking with him now. I mean, 93 speed's good. The truck and the brake tackle is good. But you know how this year is, right? Like, a 99 truck still feels like, you know, a truck. But... 1995 change of direction feels vastly different from 84. It's definitely there's definitely a difference between the two. So that's why I highly recommend. I mean, like Derrick Henry's good. I mean, he's not expensive. If you do the set, he's worth having. Like I said, do the set, uh, use him as a loner, and then sell him back for 250. You know, in a, in a week or so. That's fine. That's what I'm doing. But I don't recommend you go out there and just deliberately buy him unless you're a pure ground and pound kind of team that just goes for you know chunk, uh, just little little grind grind grinded out yardage. If you're one of those guys, that's fine. But for the most part, guys, most people this year, like, this is a change of direction year. Like, you got to hit a hole, and Derrick Henry loses a lot of speed when you're cutting back and doing a lot of stuff, which is unrealistic because in real life, Derrick Henry's actually one of the better cutback backs. Like, his cutbacks are, I mean, again, that's probably because he leads people so much to one side because people are so scared of him. But again, he's not slow at cutbacks. He's a good back, right? I mean, it's, just, it's what it is. That's how this year is. But he kind of reminds me of the Bo Jackson effect. Very clunky and very, like, he will get tackled and tripped up from any little contact because he's so big and clunky. It's just weird how this, you know, the game's coded for guys like Derrick Henry. But it is what it is. Moving on, guys. Um, for guys who probably aren't a buy, I don't think Ronnie Lott's a buy. I mean, for a small price more, you can just get Sean Taylor, who is definitely better than Ronnie Lott. If you guys have Ronnie Lott and you still sell us to this price, take advantage, sell it. With Sean Taylor, you're getting, look at this, 91 speed, 93 hit power, uh, mid-80 man, 92 zone. So, Ronnie Lott does not get 99 zone. Ronnie Lott does not get above a 91. Well, he gets a 90. No, he doesn't get above a 91 speed and 93 power. Sean Taylor gets plus four, plus three speed on him. Get powered up. That Ronnie Lott's already powered up. He gets plus two power and he gets a 99 zone. This Sean Taylor far and away is better than Lott. If you can sell him from within the 300k range, go ahead and do so and don't even think about it. Moving on down, guys, of course, you can go ahead and you can pick up the Dion. Now, I don't know. I feel like Dion, Dion's the best wide receiver in the game, but I feel like he's a little expensive. I would maybe, if I were you guys, wait. He's going to come down in price. Now, there's a reason for that. This is the final thing I want to close this video out on. These are the guys I was focusing on. Here's the thing. Come over to missions. Come to chill factor. You guys see tier 10, right? Tier 10, nat choice of 84 to 93 overall player. So you can pick, I believe, if I'm reading that correctly, you can pick a 93 overall player for free. So you get your 93 overall player. Now you come to sets, you go to zero chill. Comes out of position. Go to Deion Sanders. You pick Ladanian Tomlinson as your top guy, right? That is going to be a 130k card. You subtract that off. Deion Sanders now costs you around 300 to 290k, right? If you snipe it out, maybe even less. So if you're able to pick, that is, you just got yourself Deion for a quarter of the price less, even a little bit more. So that, that's my that's my thinking here. I think the reason Deion's still expensive is because first you don't get any of these cards back in the set, which doesn't make the set too great right now, and as well. People are buying because he's the best wide receiver, but you haven't gotten your free card yet. Once you get your free card, if you can choose any, which it says choice of 84 to 93, you pick LT. You pick Ladanian Tomlinson. You do the set super cheap, and you get Deion Sanders for super cheap. I highly recommend you wait on Deion. You wait until it is time to get him. It's only going to take another few days, guys. Like Honestly, you guys don't actually have it already. It depends on how you're getting your chill factor. If you did, if you do all the master sets and everything, you have the... You will have the chill factor threshold already. The issue is I can't get it because I don't want to do those other two master sets because I don't think they're worth it. I only think the Henry one was worth it for the players you get to keep. But it's tier 10. 
Again, they have the new solo state, which I have to go play as well. So make sure you're playing all your, if you play all your solos and you do everything, you might be there already. I'm just not there yet. But again, I know a lot of people probably aren't there. Oh, there's not new solos yet. Never mind. Point being is that if you guys do all your stuff, your sets, your packs, and everything else, and maybe open up the bundles, maybe you have it already, but not everyone does. So that's about it. To close up the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, this was insightful for you guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell if you need coins to pick up some of these cards. Head on over to Moat Reserve. Use the 30% off discount to your advantage. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout to get that advantage. That's what it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.